85, Applicant Jasmine. Yes, I am here. Good morning. I'm Immigration Officer Mike and I'll be administering your citizenship interview. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Please follow me. Sure. Please feel free to put your belongings next to your chair and remain standing. Before we start the interview, I need you to take the oath. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. What did you just promise? I promise to tell the truth. Good. You can lower your hand now. Please have a seat. Thank you. How did you get here? My husband drove me by car. How long did it take to get here? About two hours. Did anyone accompany you today? Yes, my husband and my children. Do you have any problem getting here? No, officer. Have you been studying hard for the interview? Yes, I have. Good. Do you know why you are here today? Yes, I am here for my citizenship interview. Why do you want to become an American citizen? Because I want to vote. Good. Did you come here voluntarily? Yes, I did. I've been looking forward to this day. Please give me your green card, your passport and ID. Here you go. Now, give me a few minutes to collect your fingerprints and your photo. Please place your right index finger on the scanner. And switch to your left index finger, please. Perfect. It's time to have your photo taken. Please look at the camera in front of you for me. Thank you. Do you have any questions before we start the interview? No, I don't have any questions to ask. Are you ready for an interview? Yes, I am ready. Good. First. We will complete the English reading and writing test and after that we will move on to the civics part. Please read the sentence on the tablet in front of you. Who was the first president? Correct. Now write down the sentence I'm going to say. Washington was the first president. Washington was the first president. Perfect. You passed the English reading and writing test. Now, we're going to the civics test. Please do not hesitate to ask me to repeat any questions if you want to, okay? Yes, thanks. I will ask you up to 10 questions but if you get 6 answers correct, I will stop you. 
What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. That's correct. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Good. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Said that the United States is free from Great Britain. Correct. When was the Constitution written? 1787. Good. Name one state that borders Mexico. New Mexico. That's right. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Good. You got six questions correct and passed the civics test. Now, we will move on to your application interview. Okay. How are you eligible for naturalization? I married a U.S. citizen and I have been living here for over three years. What date did you become a lawful permanent resident? I became a lawful permanent resident on September 19, 2020. What is your given name? My given name is Jasmine. What is your last name? My last name is Ambong. What are other names that you've ever used including nicknames, maiden name or family name at birth? No, officer. Are you from Philippines? Yes, officer. What is your birth date? I was born on February 1st, 1998. Okay. Can you give me your social security number? 409-241495. Do you want the Social Security Administration to update your immigration status with the SSA if and when you're naturalized? Yes, I do. Okay. What is your race? I am Asian. What is your gender? I am female. What's your weight? I weigh 128 pounds. What's your height? I am 5 feet 3 inches tall. What's your hair color? Blonde. What color are your eyes exactly? Black. All right. What's your current physical address? 4562 Narrows LNSW, Roanoke, Virginia, 24014. And is your current physical address also your current mailing address? Yes, it is. You've lived at this address since August 28, 2022. Yes. Where did you live before moving to this address? 379 Beach Grove Road, Jackson, Kentucky. 41339. All right. What is your current marital status? I am married. 
How long have you been married? About four years. Where did you get married to your current spouse? I got married to my current spouse in America. Do you have any previous marriages? No. If you are currently married, is your spouse a current member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No, officer. When did your current spouse become a U.S. citizen? June 29, 2009. What is his legal name? Alan Martin. Is your spouse's day of birth January 2, 1993? Yes. Is your current spouse's present physical address the same as your physical address? Yes. Please show me your marriage certificate. Yes. Here it is. All right. Is your spouse working? Yes, he is. What is your spouse's current job? He is a construction laborer. Where is he working? He is working for Installation Services LLC, Virginia. What is your phone number in case we contact you? 734-248-1700. Was one of your parents a U.S. citizen before your 18th birthday? No, officer. All right. Are you currently employed? Yes. What is your occupation? I was a teller staff. What is your employer's name? Virginia Tech. All right. How many children do you have? Yes, I have a son. Tell me his name, please. Luke Martin. Where was your son born? He was born in America. Is your son currently living with you? Yes, my son is living with me and my husband. Is your biological son correct? Yes, they are. Can I see his original birth certificate? Yes. Here you go. All right. Have you ever left the United States since you got your green card? Yes, I have. How many trips have you taken outside the United States? Three trips. Which country did you visit? Philippines and Canada. Where any of your trips were six months or more? No, officer. When was your last trip outside the United States? May 4, 2024. What was the purpose of your trip? I visited my parents and relatives. 
When did you return the U.S. on the last trip? May 15, 2024. Now, let us go over some questions from Part 9 of N-400 application. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen, in writing or any other way? No. Do you currently owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes in the United States? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Since you became a lawful permanent resident, have you called yourself a non-resident alien on a federal, state, or local tax return or decided not to file a tax return because you considered yourself to be a non-resident? No. What does file a tax return mean? To send a tax form to the government. Have you ever been a member of or involved in world communism? No, officer. Have you ever associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the establishment in the United States of a totalitarian dictatorship? No. Have you ever advocated, supported and promoted any of the overthrow by force or violence or other unconstitutional means of the government of the United States or all forms of law? No, never. What are unconstitutional means? Methods were not allowed by the Constitution. Have you ever associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the unlawful damage, injury, or destruction of property? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in torture? No. Do you understand the word torture? The act of causing great pain to someone. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services, or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that engaged, participated, in kidnapping, assassination, or hijacking or sabotage of an airplane, ship, vehicle, or other mode of transportation? No. What is hijacking? The use of force to take control of a vehicle. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in torture or genocide? No. Have you ever participated in killing or trying to kill any person? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with or otherwise participated in intentionally and severely injuring or trying to injure any person? No, officer. Have you ever participated in any kind of sexual contact or activity with any person who did not consent, did not agree, or was unable to consent, could not agree, or was being forced or threatened by you or by someone else? No. What is sexual contact or activity? Touching private parts of someone. Have you ever participated in causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? 
No. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, helped, or participated in any armed group, for example, paramilitary unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, or guerrilla group? No. What is a guerrilla group? A group uses weapons to attack the government. Have you ever worked, volunteered, or otherwise served in a place where people were detained, forced to stay, for example, a prison, jail, prison camp, a camp where prisoners of war or political prisoners are kept, detention facility, or labor camp, or have you ever directed or participated in any other activity that involved detaining people? No. Have you ever sold, provided, or transported weapons, or assisted any person in selling, providing, or transporting weapons, which you knew or believed would be used against another person? No. Have you ever engaged in prostitution, attempted to procure or import prostitutes or persons for the purpose of prostitution, or received any proceeds or money from prostitution? No, never. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States? No. Have you ever committed, agreed to commit, asked someone else to commit, helped commit, or tried to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does commit mean? To do something wrong or illegal. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever manufactured, cultivated, produced, distributed, dispensed, sold, or smuggled, trafficked, any controlled substances, illegal drugs, narcotics, or drug paraphernalia in violation of any law or regulation of a U.S. state, the United States, or a foreign country? No. What is drug paraphernalia? Equipment to make illegal drugs. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter, or try to enter, the United States illegally? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. How do you define misrepresentation? The act of giving false information. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Have you ever been removed or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No, officer. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. 
Do you know what an order of nobility is? A position given by a king or queen. Do you support the constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are you unable to take the oath of allegiance because of a physical or developmental disability or mental impairment? No. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation during crisis. Good. Do you promise everything you've said is true? Yes, I do. Great. Let's review the updated application on the tablet one more time to make sure everything is accurate. If there's something that you need to make a correction, let me know. Everything looks good to me. Perfect. If so, I need your signature on that last page. And here is the Oath of Allegiance to the United States. Please also review and sign at the bottom if you're ready. I'm pleased to inform you that you've met all the requirements to become a U.S. citizen, so you passed your naturalization interview today. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Here's the result it just shows that you passed your interview. You will receive a notice by mail with the date, time and location of your ceremony. Do you have any questions for me? No, thank you. You're welcome. Please know that you are not a U.S. citizen until you take the oath of allegiance at a naturalization ceremony. Thank you for clarifying that. Now, let me guide you back to the waiting area. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.